alpha male 1% top G. Those are the words usually associated with the man part of the red pill community. And you've probably heard about that community because it has been growing in size the past few years and it's probably part of our modern culture. But I've always wondered, what does the red pill mean? Why do you become a red pill? And how becoming a red pill can make you the high value man you've always wanted to be. So before talking about the red pill, let's talk about its opposite, the blue pill. The blue pill is basically what society has been feeding you your entire life since you were a kid. For example, Disney movies. They teach you that if you're the nice guy, if you're nice with the princess, you will clap your cheeks. If you're optimistic, it doesn't matter how harsh life is because you still have faith, you will succeed no matter how difficult it is. Don't change anything, just have faith. That if you meet a woman and you fall in love with her, she will most likely be your wife and you'll have a beautiful life and a happy ending, just like in fairy tales. And finally, how does it have an impact on your dating life, on how you approach girls and flirt and everything? You will automatically think that if you're the good guy, hey, I just have to be nice, like I've been taught. And you know what? I'll cut the cheek. And if you recognize yourself in it, don't worry, because like I said, it's something that we've been taught our entire life. So for most people, at least. Now enters real life. You're an average guy. You're not the richest guy. You're not the most good looking guy. You're not the guy with the most game. You try to get some girls. And even by doing what society has been telling you to do, you don't get the girl that you desire. You don't get the kind of girls you want. You've been nice to them, but they don't really care. At least you get friends zone or something, but there's not that relation. There's no romantic buildup, and that's what you're looking for, but you don't understand because like I said, you've been following the rules, but nothing has come, no results. And that can be frustrating because to who can you really explain that shit? Who are you going to talk about? It? Your parents? They lived in a completely different era. Your friend that always get girls how can you understand it because he's not you he hasn't been through what you've been so he'll most likely tell you be yourself because it works for him but if you stay how you are it won't work for you so he can't understand and honestly you just go out there you can't find a solution you don't understand you feel lonely frustrated it's normal because like I said, you're following a rule, but the rule leads nowhere, there's no result. So the only thing that can be born or that can come from that shit is anger. The past few years, what happened? Podcasts, social media, YouTube, whatever. And those platforms allow people that have been through similar things as you to tell you how they did to make you understand that it's not because you're nice you're gonna get the girl, it's not because you're like that or like this you're gonna get her. You gotta change, you can't do what society tells you because we all know the song, yeah, good guys, good guy finishes last, bad guy gets a girl. It's not that the good guy finishes last, but it's the good guy has no nothing, no game, nothing. His only valuable asset is being nice. This is the difference. That's why having access to kind of like, let's say red pill self-development client, allow men to understand that they need to change. They need to understand that what society taught them isn't the solution. It's most of the time bullshit. It doesn't apply to real life situations. Right now you can't get anything because you have no value. Because for example, you go on Tinder, you swipe, you have barely any match. You DM girls on Instagram, they don't respond because with social media now, it's easier to determine someone's value. Taking the red pill will make you understand that you need to change. If you want the girls that you want, there needs to be some effort made because right now, it's either you live on in your dumb world full of optimism and thinking that by being nice and everything you'll get it, or you decide to wake up, do something and take action. After taking the red pill, you understand that this shit just doesn't work. It's not because you did your crush's homework that she'll let you clap. She'll probably tell you who clapped her cheeks, but it won't be you. And the red pill is here to change that. Because you got platforms like YouTube, Wi-Fi, Twitch, whatever, you can get some advice from men who have been through the same shit as you and tell you how to overcome it. People like Bezos, Hamza, and no matter how controversial he is, even Andrew Tate. He's obviously made up his mind. Why don't we just cut our losses and get out of here? In certain situations, can it help you? 
I don't support him, but I have to admit it. For example, they can help you improve the game because a lot of men can't even have interaction with girls and build relations. And I'm not talking about romantic relations only. I'm talking about friendship, something as simple as that. Some men don't even know how to build friendships with girls. And that is a real problem. It's not because you went on YouTube, you saw a pickup artist, copy a few lines, you're gonna get the girls. The power doesn't come from the line. The power comes from you. If you can't get girls the way you are right now, it means you gotta change at least the girls you aim for. You need a physical change, a mental change, I don't care, but you need to change. And it's not by just writing a few lines, you will change. And they can help you doing that because I'm pretty sure you don't wanna be the guy who spends all his income on a Twitch girl for her just to say his name, like, I was like, so loser, you know what, fuck it. Loser111 just donated $1,000, thank you. I'm sure you're not looking for some interaction based on donations. You're looking for some real interaction. So if that's what you're looking for, you gotta understand you need to change mentally and physically if necessary. They can help you improve your Instagram page, your Tinder page, whatever, because this is your CV. This is what people get from you without knowing you. This is the first impression people have of you. And if it looks like trash, people will lower your value. If it looks really good, really aesthetic count, it will up your value. I'm sorry, but it's just the reality of social media. Because for some people, posting a pic in the forest on Tinder, it's just reasonable. Like me in the middle of the forest during nighttime, standing menacingly. He's just standing there, menacingly. That will come for the girl. That will make the girl like swipe right. Of course, that's what happens when you lack social interaction. You will lack social awareness. They can help you understand how you should be in a relationship. For example, when it comes to texting, some people, the second they get a girl, they just go berserk with the texting. Every morning they'll be like, "Oh, you're my queen." Without you, I'm a, I'm a nan. I'm nothing. Blah blah blah. You're my world, bro. Was she the force holding your universe? Was she the force who made you before, who made you today, and who will make you after if she's not there? No, it's you. For some people, once they get a girl, that's it. They don't focus on themselves anymore. They become part of the background, which is not normal. It's not because you got a girl that you can't focus on yourself. I'm not telling you to take the girl like B, I need some top, so be there in 30 minutes. If you want to do it, do it, bro. You, you know what you're doing, but I'm not telling that you have to text like that. I'm telling you, don't push it too far. Don't forget that you exist. Don't forget that you got to focus on yourself. They you go focus on improving yourself constantly. Focus on your dreams or whatever. Treat yourself too, because that shit is important that you, you're allowed to treat yourself. This is when you need to understand that there's a difference between being in a relationship that will improve you and being in a relationship because you're needy. And the needy part, that's not what you want because you don't gain shit. That kind of action is what defines you as a sin. A simp is someone that will put himself in the background for the girl. You don't want to be a simp. You don't want that kind of lifestyle. You want a lifestyle where you can strive and improve and become someone that you've always wanted to be. But if you're a simp, the fuck you're gonna hope for? You're gonna hope for a thank you, a goodbye? Oh, this time she'll leave me on red. She sent an emoji. After what do you gain meant? What do you gain? How does it make you a better person? They also teach you how important it is to pay attention to your look or just your physique. Because imagine you're into a girl that loves fashion, but you dress like a nigga that comes from 2007. The fuck you think you're gonna get? And you're gonna tell me, oh, you know, but if you're good looking, if you got game, you're guaranteed to get the girl, blah, blah, blah. Boy, what if one day you meet a girl that doesn't care about your physique. If you don't know how to dress, she won't talk to you. Tell me what you're going to do. That's why you continuously need to improve every aspect of your game. Everything you have, you need to improve. The way you talk, the way you dress, take care of yourself. Just find a sport that you love, you enjoy doing. I don't say necessarily go to the gym, but be in good shape. One thing about me is that in end of middle school, high school, and early college, I only used to wear joggings. Every fucking day you would see me in a jogging. And I remember one day, I think it's, let's say end of middle school, 
I came to school in a sweatshirt and I had some jeans on. And people from my class, they, they came up to me and they asked me if I had a date. I said, no, I just came up because I wanted to dress that way. They were in such disbelief that I would come in a suitable way to school. It was like someone kidnapped the actual prodigy and brought in a doppelganger. It was unimaginable for them. And that's why you gotta pay attention to small things like how you dress, if you take care of your hair, your face, you put some products on it, at least to keep it clean. If you have a beard, take care of it. The reflection that people see of you, you gotta pay attention. Now the thing that they teach you, not play the victim because I'm sorry, but if you're just fat because you love eating junk food, you don't care, you just spend all your money on junk food, you don't even attempt to lose weight or anything, you're gonna blame your weight saying, Oh, it's because I'm fat, I can't get girls, blah, blah, blah. Boy, you're in this condition because you never tried to stop that junk food habit. You never tried to discipline your life. Every fucking time, you let yourself drown in that shit. And now you use it to victimize yourself. That is not the kind of mentality you want to have. Except the fact that it's probably your fault, the state you're in, if it's your fault, of course, because you have exceptions. But if it's your fault, accept the fact and try to go beyond that shit, overcome it. But for some people, it's way too difficult. They don't want to. You want to act like it's all because of bad luck. But you damn know inside of you, it's because you'd rather take that McDonald's menu than the menu with the special walk walk. And I know someone in the comments is about to say, oh yeah, about 5'2", girls don't like short guys, I can't do nothing, I was born with this body, blah blah blah. Okay, you're, you're short, what the fuck are you going to do? Are you going to have a surgery to be taller? You can't do shit, this body is yours. Some guys think that if God gave them the body of a basketball player, they would be out there attracting girls like when Dexter was saying omelette de fromage. Your height is not a decisive factor, you still have other things you can work, you can improve. Again, you gain your knowledge in films, in music, and so many things like diversify your portfolio. Brother, even Krillin was able to pull some girls and he's not the main character, so what's your excuse? If seeing girls on social media telling yeah, five, six, too short, too short, blah, 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 then cut social media and take the time to work on yourself and once you're stronger mentally, come back. You have the possibility to build your ID, your identity from scratch. The key factor is your mind. It's either you have the mental strength to overcome it, either you just drown. It's another thing that you learn by taking the red pill. You learn how to fortify your mind to be stronger mentally and not get overwhelmed by the things you see online. Also, I do think it's important to install rhythm in your life to discipline yourself because with things that can hook you up such as video games, junk food, porn, whatever. I'm not saying that for, uh, playing video games is bad, that it's a waste of time. But if you let yourself drown in it, it will only be a nuisance for you. Most of the time, you live in a virtual world and you get comfortable with it and you stay in it and you don't face the harsh reality of this world. Like, it's cool if you play video games, but if it's your only hobby, only activity, the fuck is it going to do if you have a KD of 9 on Call of Duty? but you still live in your mama's basement and you haven't talked to people since graduation day. The red pills are just about how to get some girls or to become a chad, an alpha male or whatever. It's really about self-improvement, how to overcome the generic image of a man society has been feeding you. If you're able to look at yourself in the mirror, see your flaws and accept that without any change you won't be able to accomplish your dreams, you already have a huge advance over the white knights and the sims. Trust me. So I think that's all for the video guys. I just wanted to talk about the red pill because I feel like Everyone knows about it, but no one knows what it means to take the red pill. So I thought it was a good idea. And also, I have a few propositions for you. If you like this video, I could make a video on the other types of pill. The dark side of the red pill, because obviously there are a lot of dark side in it. I could interview someone who's part of the red pill community, like really part of it. So I hope you had a great time. Just let me know what you want to see next, and I'll catch you up for another one.